So today I have a huge book haul to do for you guys. My school had this huge book sale thing for our fall fair and the books were like one to three dollars and I just went crazy so I'm really excited and I have one book that I bought at Target one day but mostly all of them except for one book is from the fall fair that I actually was at a few hours ago so I'm so excited to show these to you. The first book which I got at Target, is The Eye of Minds by James Dashner. And as you can see, I found it at Target and it was an autographed copy. So it has a signature in it. I was so excited. I grabbed it immediately and I bought it. That was the only book from Target. Now let's get on to the Fall Fair books. The first book I was so excited to find because I wanted it so badly. And it is... Who Could That Be at This Hour by Lemony Snicket. And ever since I heard Jesse the Reader here on Booktube talk about it, I wanted it and I found it there for two dollars and I just had to grab it. The next book I got, I got it because it looked really pretty and I liked it. It's called The Sisters Grimm, The Unusual Sus Suspects by Michael Buckley. And it looked really pretty. As you can see, it has the gold detailing into the book and the book feels really cool and I don't know it just looks really fun so I'm excited to read this I'm pretty sure it's a children's book but hey we're all children at heart I'm only 15 then I got this book this next book and I had sorry I just found an index card in it and I had seen it in stores before and I don't know I was never gonna buy it but I found it there for two dollars and I figured hey why not so it's called Liar by Justine Larbalestier. It looks cool it's about a girl who's a compulsive liar. The cover I'm not crazy about but the back is so cool it's just I will not tell a lie over and over and over again so it's pretty cool right? Next book looked really cool and I bought it because it has illustrations in it and I don't know about you guys but I feel like when a book has an illustration in it it just makes the story come alive so much more. I didn't really look at the titles of these books I just grabbed a lot of them so it's called Chasing Vermeer by Blue Balliet illustrated by Brett Helquist and let me show you some examples of the illustrations this is one of them and then there is that. There are just all sorts of super cool illustrations. And yeah, it might be. I think it's like a middle-aged children's book. Middle-aged children's. It's probably a children's book, but I think it's super cool. So I checked it out. Plus, it's hardcover. It's, such in, good, it's in such good condition. Then I got another book because the cover looked good. Cool. That is seriously the only reason why I bought it. The cover looked really cool. So, yeah, this is called Splendors and Glooms by Laura Amy Schil Sch Schlitz. Schlitz. It was a hardback and it looked awesome. The back looks cool. It looks really creepy, but it looks cool. It says something about it being about like a magic a master puppeteer. I'm excited to read it. Then I got a book that I know a movie was made of it, but I don't know. I've never seen the movie and I don't really know what it's about. I kind of want to read the book before I see the movie, so let's do it. This is called My Sister's Keeper by Jodi Picoult. Picoult? Picoult? I have Between the Lines by her and her daughter, and I haven't read that yet, but I've heard such amazing things about that book, and I wanted to check something else out from this author, and this is a huge hardback, and I've heard great things about the movie, so let's try it. Also, my friend recommended this to me when I picked it up and looked at it. She said it was really good, and she'd read it, and it made her really sad, so sad books for the win. Next, I got something for the best deal ever. I was so excited. I got this set for two dollars and it's the Spiderwick Chronicles and they're so cute. They're in pretty good condition. I actually found some that were in better condition but they weren't in the box set and it just looks, they're so cool. See there's the first one, there's the second one, third one, fourth one, 
fifth one. And these are by Tony Deterlizzi and Holly Black. I'm pretty sure it's the same Holly Black that's written, um, the... Is it called The White Cat? Oh no, it's The White Glove and then The Black Cat. Something like that. I really want to check that series out, so... These are so awesome. I've seen the movie and wanted to read these, so awesome. They're children's books, but hey, I told you. I'm a child, and there's illustrations, so that is really cool. Okay, so next I got two books because I've heard great things about the series, and I figure if I can get some of the books from the series for cheap, then when I buy the other books, I'll, well, I won't have to spend even more money. So I got Artemis Fowl, The Arctic Incident by Ian Colfer. And I have heard amazing things about Artemis Fowl. I wanted to read this since I was in fourth grade, but I just never got around to it in fourth grade, and then I never got around to it in fifth grade, or sixth grade, or seventh grade, or eighth grade, and ninth grade. Now I'm in tenth grade, and maybe I'm gonna start getting around to it. And then I also got Artemis Fowl, The Opal Deception by Eon Colfer, and same thing, same reason, so awesome. Then I got, sorry, I'm getting them out of the bag. Okay. Then I got three books by Philippa Gregory. I got The Wise Woman. I just heard great things about Philippa Gregory, so I decided to grab three books from her. I didn't really have enough time to see if they had other books by her, but I got three. And then I and then I got The Bolin Inheritance by Philippa Gregory. I really like English history, not I like American history too and French history, but if I had to rate it, it would be English history, then French history, then American history. Those are my top three favorite things to learn about. Um, and I saw these and I know they might not be entirely historically accurate, they're probably not even close, but you know, I'm excited! I don't like anything about that. And then there's also The Other Bullet Girl by Philippa Gregory. And so, we'll see. How these turn out. Okay, just a few more books left. I got Kiki Strike Inside Shadow City by Kristen Miller. I've already read the first two books and I want the third book too to read but I didn't I don't have the books from my own. I borrowed them from a friend a few years back so I saw this and I was like great now I don't have to spend twelve dollars to buy this I can just buy the first one and the third one. Or the second one, third one, I don't remember which one of the series this is. I think this is the second one. It might be the first, it might be the second, I don't know. I think it's the first. Then I got the Silmarillion. I'm probably pronouncing that so wrong. It's second edition, J.R.L. Tolkien, edited by Christopher Tolkien. I'm excited because, hey you guys, it's J.R.R. Tolkien. <coughs> Some of these books are really dusty. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm really excited for this. Um, I've only read The Hobbit, and I have the other ones, and I feel so stupid because I've seen the movies so many times, but I haven't read all the books, so I need to. I need to get on that. Then I have uh, Walden, or Life in the Woods, by Henry David Thoreau. I thought it looked interesting. I've heard a lot of things about Henry David Thoreau. He is very famous, so I decided to pick it up. Why not? Then I got Schooled by Gordon Corman. Now, I grew up reading a lot of... Um, um Gorman, Gorman, Gorman. <coughs> Gordon Corman's Kidnapped books. I'm pretty sure he wrote those. And, like, did he write Island? I don't really remember. But he wrote a bunch of books and I would read them. And so I saw this and I had seen it in the library several times. So I figured, hey, let's grab it. As usual. Last book I got isn't the most exciting book from the bunch. But I had the matching... What is it? It had the matching Tales of Greek Heroes. So I got Tales of Ancient Egypt and I'm gonna put it with my Cain Chronicles books and these this is for, with my um, Percy Jackson books so it works perfectly. So that those are all the books I got at the fair. That's a lot of books and I got them for all all together for about $25 and that's the amount probably of about two books so, I mean, the amount I would typically spend on just two books from Barnes & Noble or Amazon or something, so I was really excited. I'll see you guys in my next video. Comment what books you're planning on reading next, what books you've recently got. Like this video, subscribe. My random fact is coming up now. Hi!
am 15 and a half. My birthday is January 4th. Uh, I was born in 1998. And so I probably should have already gotten my permit. But guess what? I haven't gotten it yet because I'm still doing the online course. But I don't have a lot of time to do the online course, so I'm still working on that. That was like three random facts. Well, bonus for a huge haul. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.